very creative. On my dream was to do, uh, come on, the costume of a show, you know. I, I was uh, dreaming to do that, you know, since I, I was a child, even before fashion. Welcome to the One Grand Show in Berlin, Jean-Paul Gaultier's childhood dream come true. Jean-Paul was the costume designer for this show and tapped into his rich imagination to produce a fashion spectacle that had me smiling from beginning until the end. I was also very pleased to hear that the team who worked with him said he was very kind, tolerant and explained everything in an easy way. On top of that, Gaultier also worked with a graphic designer to create a custom fabric with a Berlin graffiti print. You can see the show The One Grand Show at the Palace in Berlin until next year and I will leave the website in the description box for more information. But now, let's hear from the creative brain himself where he got his inspiration from, Berlin and the person who inspired him the most. First time that I do so many costumes, with a so huge team. I mean, like the people that were working with me were absolutely fantastic. I think that sometimes I have more problems, let's say, with my own atelier, even for couture, you know, that with the, at the atelier, uh, plural, for the hair, makeup, one girl that take care about that, you know, the art, uh, everything, you know, like uh, jewelry, and uh, we have all, all on that to the moment. What is fabulous is that the moment when you do the, uh, uh, the clothes, the fitting of the clothes, already I could say, ah, maybe it should be like a wig like that, and little by little, but it was quite easy. It was, uh, okay, so we should need like uh, which kind of hair, wigs, and like that. So it was like truly like uh, evaluating, but in a very, like, uh, comment dit on ça, uh, very quick way and very uh, intense, and the people were very concerned, you know, and very loving what they were doing. So that is a feeling which is like truly uh, unique. So I should say that uh, so much enthusiast and for a so big production and so artisanal at the same time, I mean, like it's on craft, you know, it's really done by hand and it's like, a, uh, I should say that I never felt that. Uh, same experience as big and so human at the same time, you know, because all the people were very kind and trying to, to make their best. And I felt that. So I felt like, a, I should say like the, we have an expression is, uh, is like swimming in a, a, a beautiful swimming pool. No, it was swimming in the sea, but the sea that was mine. <laughs> so I felt like really at home and like we, with like a family. As soon as I knew that I should uh, do the costume, I was thinking what I will do. So I note some ideas that I think were convenient, but abstract because I didn't know what should be the uh, scenario, scenography, etc. You know, Berlin was very important also in the in the mix because in in it in what I did there is like a fashion because it's me kind of fashion, let's say, extravagant fashion, extravagant uh, fantasy, but also musical, musical, like uh, cabaret type. Berlin, of course, like for example, the graffiti, the graffiti, so I wanted to do like graffiti, uh, uh, people that become themselves graffiti because of the East Berlin on the wall and uh, all that, you know. So references also to Klaus Naomi, uh, maybe Nina Hagen even, like with the punks, you know. Something that is like, uh, comes also from Berlin, you know, and was in Berlin. On the part, all the uh, uh, image of the old Berlin of the 20s, you know, with uh, all that kind of cabaret, you know, that we saw in movies. I should say the quality of the on craft, on the quality of the people, the energy and the enthusiasm of the people working on it, and the kind of very like structure uh, on doing it and doing well, you know, the professionalism and the joy to do it. That is very because I feel very much, you know, that you know, I feel when people are like 
in a negative way or things like that. I feel it like instantly. It was only joy to work uh, with it. That impressed me. And also the possibility in that theater, which is absolutely beautiful and huge. And uh, uh, I never worked for one place like so big and huge, you know. My grandmother, I should say, has inspired me the most because she let me free. That is incredible. And a young boy, she let me free to look at what I wanted to look, to look at the TV at a time where truly the parents normally didn't want, on, uh, even some people have no TV. So her, she had TV, she let me do everything I wanted to play with my teddy bear, to, uh, to, to tell me that I will have uh, come on, uh, big success in what I will do, you know, to give you that confidence, you know. So I think it's very important, you know, when you have that, because it feels you like, uh, uh, secure in some way. Uh, it's a work uh, for a work which is very insecure in reality. So it gives you, you are insecure of course, but you have the energy because in there, there is still my grandmother saying, yes, it will be one, two, three, four. She was playing the, the cards, you know, and saying one, two, three, four, you will have that, you will do that, da, 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 da. And she never make mistake. So thank you, my grandmother, to give me that. And the love of, uh, 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 I should say that, uh, at the end, I, I, I am very happy because I still go on to play like I was a little kid in reality. Because for me, it's that, you know, it make me, it give me all the, because in reality, I am a lazy boy, a lazy man uh, now, old lazy man. And uh, come on, but in reality, I give, I find all the energy because I do what I uh, admire and love. And uh, so that's fantastic. And it's very unique. So thank you to my grandmother to that.